see if this tells us any more about Justin Wilson. You're going to be looking on the high side. You're going to be looking on the left of Sage Karam's car. As Karam starts coming down the track, look on the high side. As he comes down the track, Wilson will be going high. He hasn't yet, he hasn't yet entered the picture. Wait for Wilson to come through. There's the Shane on both sides. Oh, the nose section there, bouncing. Bouncing, bouncing in right there on the head. Oh, that is, if that is the nose of the car, that is a very, very heavy, thick object. You see it flying through the air. It's nearly 100 yards in the air. And I would guarantee that that knocked him unconscious and he's just a passenger now. Oh. White flag laugh, I just thought this this can't be real. You know? <laughs> this is like a dream, you know? everything's worked out so well. Justin Wilson is considerably ahead of Elio Castro Nevis as he heads for the checkered flag and yet another new winner in the IndyCar Series. Justin Wilson is the tallest driver in the IndyCar Series. He will stand tall on this Sunday afternoon as he goes by by King. Bring him home out of 14. Justin Wilson started 16th in points here today. Started second on the grid today. Uh, today he is going to be a winner at the raceway at Belle Isle as he takes the twin checkered flag. I run that lap and just, just held on, control the slide. Just uh, so happy. You had to manage your tires, you had to, uh, you know, everyone said it was different, everyone's line was different. So you had people coming and going and, you know, one day Kelly would just drive past me and pull away and then, you know, a couple of laps later he would come back and I would pass him. So, yeah, you kind of just trying to make sure you don't overdo it and, and be very patient. I'm really, really grateful to be part of the Honda family and, and uh, to get a win for it. You know, it's just, it's just uh, a great feeling. feel like you, you belong here now. And, you know, when, you, when you're struggling you know, as a driver, your confidence is down and you think, you know, I'm letting these people down. But, um, you know, it's a, a weight off your shoulders to, to get a result, to, to win a race. And, and um, just got to thank them for giving the opportunity. Yeah, those guys have, have worked for long hours, uh, give me a fantastic cars, reliable cars every time. You know, I don't have to worry about it. So I got to thank them for their efforts. I got to thank the engineers for giving us a great car that you know we managed to, to win a race. And um, Dale and Gail, um, you know, just so much passion. They just want to be here doing well, winning races, and you know, it's it's just fantastic to drive for them. And, to get their second win, so it's very special. And great. You being the veteran of the group, when you look, stand back and look at it, the, the level of competition this year, what's your assessment of that? I think it gets stronger and stronger every year we race, and you know the, the level of drivers that are coming through the, the preparation of the team, um, it's not like it was even three or four years ago. You know, it's just getting stronger, and everyone's got to pick their game up, and 